Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about my second Invisalign aligner. So I have just done another scan. I've just done another scan on the app. So really, really cool. I'm not going to actually show you on that one today, uh, but I've just uh, done my second round of scans and that's through the app. And just drop my memory a moment. What's the app called? So it's called Dental Monitoring. So it's really, really cool. So I had, I had braces when I was around 19. Um, I had some overcrowding and I had a bit of an overbite. So I had my uh, braces when I was 19 after I left school, had them done privately, paid for them. I know very, very silly here in, here in the UK on the NHS. If you have uh, braces, I believe under the age of 16, they are, you don't have to pay, they are funded. However, after that, if you want to continue with your dental care and braces and sort of one thing or another like that, then you do have to pay for it yourself, which I'm absolutely fine with, not a problem at all. I've always taken great pride in my parents and uh, my, my teeth. So um, I had that done when I was 19. Um, always wore a retainer and thought that everything was fine. And then I've been going through some things the last couple of years, genetics around collagen, um, around a collagen disorder with different things going on in my body. And um, then I went for a checkup one day and they found that the arch on my, on my uh, left side was collapsing a little bit scary word and it really did frighten me first thing uh i first time i heard it um but what it actually is is the the arch um has come in a bit so it's changed the shape of my teeth um and i was starting to notice this through pictures and one thing and another as well so i opted to have invisalign now i will be very honest it is it is not a cheap process it is not a cheap process. I think I want to get that out there because there are a lot of there is a lot of hype at the moment about having um, aligners for teeth straightening and things. And I think very often they are putting it across to people, consumers, and that that it's that it is cheap and it's not. It's not to be quite honest with you at all. Um, I've actually had to opt for it because of this particular problem in my jaw. Um, and I wanted to, I wanted to keep what I originally paid out for, which was a lot of money back then. Um, I'm now 29. Um, so I haven't done too bad for 10 years. Um, but I've had a lot of health problems and things going on in the background. Um, so I'm not surprised to be quite honest with you that something sort of like that, um, kind of cropped up. So anyway, had the Envision Liners, had them at the start of January really so had christmas then had them on in the first week of january um straight away uh i could feel my teeth moving and they have moved a lot um what i noticed straight off is i was having real difficulty pronouncing sort of like the s th, and sh and words like that it gave me a little bit of a lisp which i really hated it took a good fortnight for that to completely settle down, I think. Um, I say 10 days, a fortnight, I would say. And throughout that, I had quite painful ulcers um, in my mouth uh, along sort of the, the lower part of uh, sort of the gum line. Here, that's what I was trying to say. Um, sort of like the edge of the visual line here. I had a couple of ulcers, not necessarily at the top. I had one small one, but then I had quite a few sore ones, really painful, anguishy ones, which hung around for a long time at the bottom here and really rubbed. So that was very, very uncomfortable. Um, had no problems with sort of wearing them. I never, I always take them out if I'm drinking anything. If it's, if it's anything other than water, I always take them out. And if it's, uh, food of course then it does come out they say you can snack with them in but i just can't i just can't to be honest they, they rock too much they they kind of pop off in, in places um because you have these like little bubbles of sort of almost like ceramic on your teeth um i've got quite a few here i don't know if you can see that but there's sort of a couple here um so and they kind of fit the vision line affixes to those sort of nodules on your teeth and that's how they are able to give that gentle pressure and that to help that gentle movement to be able to have that of course that straightening effect so i'm now on my second uh, aligner so no ulcers which is fantastic i am still having incredibly sore lips so i'm having to use i've actually just applied it because honestly when i move my mouth or if i smile it's still really quite painful i'm hoping that settles down i've got really quite cracked really quite dry lips and it's only ever since um of having the vision line and it's not gone away um i'm not having to drink so much water on my my first clip when i had the first uh set in 
my mouth was incredibly dry, so I had to keep taking sips of water. That's subsided now, and I can, hopefully you'll notice, I can talk a lot clearer as well, which is really great. That gives me my confidence back as well in my role. I'm talking a lot. Um, I work in finance, so I have to uh, talk through figures. I have to talk through a forecast. I have to talk um, to different people, uh, quite a lot of people of all different levels. The last thing I want to be doing is getting quite tongue-tied. Um, so I'm having to, just a simple thing I've got here, which I've just applied the Bulldog Original uh, Man's uh, Lip Balm here. So, and that really does help and, and soothe sort of the really sore areas as well. Um, as I say, I don't eat or drink with them in. I do take sips of water with them in. Cleaning for me, I use uh, Retainer Bright. Um, they do say you can't you you can't use hot water. You have to use cold water. So with a soft brush, every time I take them out, I just brush them over and then I brush my teeth. I know it sounds quite excessive, but I brush my teeth when I put them back in as well. Um, but yeah, second time around, this is my second aligner. I've had it in a week. It's been a real um, January has been a lot of stress going on, a lot of worry. My my mum had a very major surgery a week ago, so she's in her recovery now. I took the time off. I wanted to be by my mum's side, helping her in her recovery, and that's going really really well. She had a lot more surgery done than what we thought she was going to to resolve an issue which she had and she'd been quite ill with it for a long time i say ill it really affected her life so it's great to have that behind us now to be able to move forward and i've had a lot of surgeries in the last five years and both my mum and dad were amazing um and supporting me and getting me through that so i wanted to be there for my mum throughout that so this has kind of gone in the background i will have to admit there and um but you know it, it's quite this is this is comfortable now and this is what i wanted when i first had it i was almost like oh crikey what have i done this is so uncomfortable and when i had it first of all i had quite a lot of pain to the point where and i've got quite a high pain threshold as well i've had a lot of sort of nerve surgeries and i've had my groin reconstructed and one thing or another but i know dental pain is something quite else and i had a lot of pain up here which is why i had that um sort of collapse part of the arch here so I had it strangely almost in my cheek and it kept going bright red which was really really strange um and then when i have it on for the first two days i did notice you have like a, a dull ache so Sort of right up in the tops of your teeth um so yeah that's the only kind of thing i would report now but i mean i am what have i had them on so it's monday the 30th last monday i changed them to my second division line so in a week's time i'll be changing fingers crossed to number three um but how how it happens so uh dental monitoring i take a scan if you i haven't got it um i haven't got it out uh, this evening um but i will be sure to show you on my on my third one but dental monitoring you get like this dental sort of uh appliance which opens your retracts your cheeks and then it goes onto your phone so you take your phone and then um and then you, you position it so you can see in the mirror and then you kind of just position it round and show your teeth. That goes off to the specialist who's looking after me with my dental work. Um, he came straight back and, and it, I was really pleased as well. Um, as I said, I always take pride in my appearance. And um, first of all, he's had amazing brushing, really lovely white teeth. Um, and that I was doing everything right. And just to be sure that I was using the Chewies which is like a soft plastic which you bite down onto, just so the vision line uh, aligner sits nice and snug to the teeth. Um, and I was just told on the second time that just to concentrate on using those chewies several times a day for a couple of minutes, which is literally almost like your finger. It's like um, made of plastic, little tiny sort of thing like this. You put it in your teeth like that, and then you just chew down on it. Um, and then that uh, makes the vision line quite snug and quite tight against your teeth because if I bite slightly, I can push the vision line up only ever so slightly, but not all the time. So when that happens, I just grab the chewy and then I just I just chew on it for a little bit. It's plastic and then it makes it nice and snug again. And I believe that's to just help with the alignment. That's to help um, get the best possible experience from the aligner. Um, and yeah, so it's going really, really well. I'm pleased that the ulcers and things have settled down because that was crazy. The first week was so sore in my mouth is nowhere near as dry as what it was that was really really uncomfortable um but i'm still having that bothersome issue with my mouth being my lips being quite dry and um, so i'm hoping time i go on to number three uh that all settles down and that disappears as well but ultimately do you know it's not too much of a hindrance i would say um it's a little bit odd sometimes i didn't really think it through completely that every time we would eat something um and i'll tell you a funny story that i actually did try this because um it was the night before I was due to change to number uh, of my second aligner. So it was a Sunday. Okay, so we go on the Sunday. And I took a few sips of cola 
And I thought to myself, I know for a fact this is going to stain, but I've got to try it once. And you know what? Those couple of sips of cola stained it tremendously. And it really, really panicked me. But I was able to take them out very, very quickly. And I was able to get some of the staining off for using the retainer bright. And there's some cleaning crystals and things in the in the pack, which everything came with when I first took the uh, Avisualign sort of set away from the clinic. And um, and amazingly, I managed to get it off because I had to do the scanning the following morning. And amazingly, none of the staining showed on the scanning. So I will never be doing that again. So, yeah, I didn't actually think it would stain so easy as that. Um, but that was the only time I actually had them in when I was actually having anything. So certainly now I don't I don't drink anything with them in, um, and I certainly don't eat anything with them in, um, just to keep away from that staining. Because yeah, you could imagine with my luck, it would turn them like an orangey colour or even a brownie colour, and I'd have to wear it for the fortnight. At the moment, they're changing every fortnight. Um, and yeah, we will see. So my third one is coming up in a week's time. I may not be able to review that just because there's so much going on at the moment. Work being busy. I'm making sure that my mum um, is okay at the moment. I'm helping around. I help around a lot anyway, but I'm doing a lot more um, just just so I can I can have the reassurance that my mum's recovery is going amazingly. Um, and yeah, and she's still in a lot of pain in that. So I'm I'm by her side with that too. So that's paramount. Um, but as I say, when I do my next scan. Within a couple of days period, I will have it on my channel and we will talk about it uh, once again. OK, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I really hope that you've been able to take something away. And if you're thinking about visual liners or any type of liners, do your research. Do your research. Always speak to a specialist. Um, if you don't know where to start, a good place to speak to your dentist, first of all, and then they can put you in touch with somebody who would be looking at conducting your treatment. Um, I would probably say be careful online. Most things online, if it looks too good to be true, it usually is, and it can turn out to be extremely expensive. Um, they're not hundreds, I will be honest, they are thousands. Um, not many, but I would say around about the three to four thousand, um, just to be very open and honest with you. So they are an investment, but of course that is an investment for life. And if you take care of them, then you've got that for life. Um, so for me, it was a no-brainer, um, especially with the arch collapse problem, which I had. Um, and the collagen sort of thing in the background, I didn't want it getting any worse. Um, but yeah, always do your research. And if you are unsure, speak to your dentist first of all, and they will be able to guide you. Really, really important. Don't do it alone. Seek guidance and go from there. OK, so as I say, thank you very much indeed for being here. Thank you for joining me. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. And if you'd like to ask me a question down below, please do so. I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. And until next time, God bless. Take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye now.